Hi, my name is Ben Foster. I'm a sculptor living in Kaikoura, New Zealand. Um, I create various large-scale faceted sculptures which um, are commissioned by clients all over the world. My process starts with basic concept drawings, many sketches of the same form, trying to think about it from various angles. Once I'm happy with the concept sketch, then it's time to try and realise that in the three dimensions. This is a commission I'm currently working on for a client based in Zurich, Switzerland. Uh, this piece is titled Beer and Ballerina and is utilising my predominantly geometric approach which is common in most of my works to date. Um, what I'm trying to do is really pick up the key sculptural elements of shadow and light um, to really activate the work. So the work is um, obviously quite complex. Um, each facet is not digitally generated. They are all hand cut um, and worked out through concept sketches and, um, and development. Um, this piece will be finished in aluminium and painted in a automotive white paint um, and be freighted to Zurich once it's finished later this year.
My name is Ben Foster. I'm a sculptor living and working in Kaikoura. Um, I've been here for some time now, enjoying the environment. I work predominantly with aluminium, um, with geometric structures. So my sculpting over the years has sort of evolved from these quite organic sculptures that are inspired by Kaikoura and the environment here. I think that was something that really attracted me to this place. Over the years, I've created more faceted sculptures like the, the one you can see behind me for Switzerland. That's kind of come from the mountains in this region, you know, the snow-capped triangular peaks of the Kaikoura Mountains. So what I'm going to do for Kiwi Rail is um, we've got a selection of old um, railway irons um, that were um, recovered from the Northern Railway Line um, and what I'd like to do is take two of these key pieces and present them in a vertical fashion that really sort of symbolises I, I guess the power of the event um, and the, the power of Mother Nature in this event you know there are some lines there that were obviously straight at one point and now they're just corkscrewed so um, yeah I have one piece that has a lovely uh, lovely spiral to it almost like a double helix the other piece is still quite straight and I imagine these two pieces set vertically one wrapping around the other one reaching probably four or five metres high. As a local, I think it's really important to have something to do with this process. I think it's something that I, I forgot about, actually. We sort of all got back onto our normal lives as, as best we could. It wasn't until I went back down to the Kiwi Rail facility just in town here that it really hit me, you know, just how hard these guys are still working. Um, I'm seeing these rough and ready guys who are spending days after days out of sight effectively for all us locals. So yeah, to go in there and talk to some of these guys about the reality of what they're faced with every day it was a real eye-opener for me. very much just about the Kaikoura coastline. So we've incorporated text from Awaro to Kekarengu and just bringing out some of those key place names along the Kaikoura coastline where the railway meets the ocean. 